to the old town road. Good morning! Welcome fellow YouTubers. Welcome to my new channel. My name is Mason. I'm your Chef Hangover today. On this episode of Chef Hangover, we'll be cooking whatever the fuck I want. Because I'm hungover, and that's what I do. I cook when I'm hungover. That's it. Let's get to it. Chicken breast. Now, the most important key is when you come home after drinking, take the chicken breast out of the freezer and put it in the fridge so it can thaw out. Otherwise, that bitch is going to be frozen as fuck, you're going to have to throw it in the microwave, and it's going to taste like shit. So that's step one. It can be really any kind of chicken. I prefer uh, the ones pumped with hormones that kind of, you know, like, have some weird stuff on them. You just cut that shit off. But the most important thing... I lost my hands, but... The most important thing in the world... Your seasoning, baby. I just keep it simple, alright? Let me focus this shit. Now this motherfucker will save your whole entire recipe if you fucked up. Tony, you're the man. After Tony... Comes a little bit of roasted garlic and herb. And of course, my favorite lady from the office, Pam. So what a lot of white people don't know is that you have to wash your chicken. Um, I just found this out because my parents were like, wash your what? I to tell them. Alright, listen and learn. Next step, we're going to do a little bit of cutting. A little bit of cutting. So if you don't have any kitchen shears like this, Use some normal scissors, because if you don't have scissors, go to the dollar store and get some. It works. Or you could, I guess, use a knife. That's weird. All right, so I'm going to chop these up. Basically, I'm just going to go like that. Chop into a little piece. Bam. We're going to look, we're looking for something like that. You know, just a little some, 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 you know, a little popper. Bam, that's it. Do it. Chicken looks pretty wild when it's not cooked. Um, looks kind of like your grandma's legs after she gets out of the bath. So now is the most important part, the seasoning. Um, serving size, I recommend just throwing on as much as you can until it tastes super good. So you gotta mix it up, do a little mix, season a little bit more, throw in your other stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. FYI. This shit will make you sneeze. All right, most important part done, check. So this right here, a little pepper, I pre-cut it, okay? Don't get mad, but I'm gonna cut the rest of it, all right? Cut into little pieces. This is just gonna be a little side dish for you, all right? Now that your chicken and peppers have been prepped, you can do the most important part. You want some fake aerosol butter that makes it nice and toasty. Now, if you're looking for uh, what temp I set it at, I don't know, like medium, a little bit above. Oh, jeez. How does this thing work? So now that the pan's a little bit hot, take your chicken, dump it in. So it's going to get a little sizzly. might sound like Chipotle up in this biatch, a little tss action. Reminds me of Applebee's last night. $20 fajitas. I flip every individual piece just to make sure I don't get salmonella poisoning or anything like that. That would suck. Kind of ruin your day. You just want to flip every single one of them. You play them. Just like Chef Gordon Ramsay, Alakazam. It's your peppers. And yep, you know it. A little more Pam. Throw them on. These are just going to make them a little bit softer, a little bit crunchy, but a lot better tasting. Let's plate them. And look what you just made. How beautiful. Now you enjoy it in the sunshine in your dark room, in a closet, 
upstairs, downstairs, wherever you want. That's all yours. Go crazy. Thank you all for watching.